Yolan True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy and it's a new update. That's why you see an out of schedule afternoon video today. And I quickly want to have a look in what's coming tonight. With update 65, which they call the Gorn Invasion Part 1, there will be a lot of stuff coming. Of course, on all the details of it, I will make videos in the next days after I can really use all of this. But still, I want to give you a quick look in the announcements. Because we will see a new building, which is the War Room, which is a little bit more complicated than just a building. We will have new Gorn Hunter Hostiles, we will have new officers, new missions, new refits, forbidden tech and artifacts, new primes, new cosmetics, new battle pass. So loads of stuff again. But we start with a quick look on the War Room. There was an introduction by Scopely itself yesterday. Um, and uh, I will in go into the full details um, in uh, probably tomorrow. Uh, I will film that then for Thursday where I go through all the details of it. But the War Room will be, as Scopely says, something like the treasury we got from the Ferengi and now we get the War Room from the Klingons where you can unlock rewards during the event for this. But it will be different because uh, it will be an alliance treasury, so to speak, this time. And what the alliance achieves will determine what you get. So we will have an event like the treasury event. So you have to wait until it starts. Uh, starts. And you can reach milestones by scoring PVP points. So they want to strengthen the PVP part of the game. And every alliance member contributes to this. And when the alliance as a whole completes a milestone, everyone gets the keys. And you need those keys to unlock war chests. And whatever is in those chests depends on the level of your war room building. And they say there are different kinds. There are basic resources, materials, ship parts, emblems of honor, the seals of Kotal, which unlocks the exclusive tactical warmonger research node. And um, there are also some buffs from the building with the war room shield health, war room officer stats, and war room isolytic damage. We know stuff like that from other buildings. So Scopely says they want us to get more resources in game which I urgently need because of the Tritanium thing. But we will see. I know that there are some people, and I talked about this recently, about incursions in one of my videos um, that don't like PvP. But PvP is part of the game, and now Scopely wants to strengthen that. I think that a number of players that are not friends of, of too much PvP will be quite angry right now. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to the discussions on our server Discord, for example. Um, to see the reactions, but I, I think I already know that a number of people will be quite not so happy. And talking about surprises, I didn't know that at this point already there would be the announcement when I was doing some other work. Um, I don't have much time until I have to publish the, the, the afternoon videos. Um, and that's why you got a little hint in the background from one of my other channels. But nevertheless, let's continue with the Gorn Hunter hostiles. So they bring in another hostiles. The Gorn are something I really like about Strange New Worlds because they are fierce and uh, we, we have seen them in, in short episodes on the original series and on Enterprise, but in Strange New Worlds, they, they got really interesting and nasty. It's more like a, a horror movie at some parts. But uh, now they bring them into the game as well. <sighs> After the Zindi, which were quite fierce already, and especially the silent enemies, which are really not fun to fight, I hope they do not exaggerate this time again with the strength of them. I will definitely make a video on, on fighting the Gorn in the next days as well as I always do with all the officers, buildings and, and all the events coming in and the new enemies coming in. But um, 
these hostiles are something special again because they are immune to all damage that is not isolytic. So you have to to concentrate on isolytic damage you're causing. And they deal isolytic damage themselves. So you, you will have to take care of isolytic defense as well. And that will definitely um, have an effect on, on the crews. And um, I'm, I'm quite interested in seeing where they will appear, how this will work. Um, they say you can achieve artifacts, officers, and faction credits and stuff from them. But um, I'm really looking forward to see where they, are, they will be. And um, I haven't really found something here in the announcement about this. But uh, there will be changes um, to some of the export bundles uh, in, uh, w with a combination here. But uh, this will definitely be one video. I hope I can beat those. I fortunately have done a little bit on my isolytic damage and my isolytic defense, but I hope it's enough. And I do have crews or possible crews for that. So that will require a lot of testing again. Um, but I am not so sure if it's a good idea to bring another hostile that fast again. Nevertheless, we will have new officers as well. One will be um, Dr. Mbanga. And uh, he will have a captain maneuver and an officer ability. In this case, um, officer health and mitigation versus hostiles. And uh, another one who brings ship health points. Um, we will see if he's any good when, when uh, I look at the stats in-game. Um, there will be a code this time uh, for five free Mbanga shards for all Ops 20 plus players. So um, when they announce the promo code, um, I hope this time it will work. And we also get a Sam Kirk, you know, the bro brother of uh, James T. Kirk that we know from, from Strange New Worlds. He will um, have effect on the hostiles uh, shield health and uh, increase critical damage but none of them will be of any help so far as I can see against the new hostiles and then we have nurse chapel as well she will increase loot gained from Gorn hunter hostiles so she will be very interesting um, with the new enemies and she increases isolytic damage versus hostiles which is evil because you will want her on the bridge to get more loot from the Gorn, but you need her below deck to do more damage against those Gorn because you, they don't take normal damage. So that's that's a really mean combination, I must say. But we will see. Um, they say they are adding new officers to the Ultra Recruit as well. And that is a really good news because um, a lot of these officers you sometimes only could get via events like uh, um, no they are not in there the event ones but you can get them only via certain um, parts in, in the faction stores and now they are adding them including a, a lot of strange new worlds officers in the ultra recruit section and some you only could get through refineries like um, back at Mariner or via via the transporter patterns will be included here and that's at least something that's a, a nice addition and of course as usual there will be um, new missions as, as usual and um, there also will be new refits, forbidden tech and artifacts. As I said, there will be a new Borg Cube uh, refit, this time a Borg Cube Transwarp Drive that adds Transwarp to the Borg Cube, allowing for instant travel across the galaxy, as well as increasing the Borg Cube's um, hull health by 350%. Oh, instant travel sounds really nice, but I'm not so sure I will pay for that. Uh, we will see. 
Then there's another one for the Voyager, the Voyager astrometric sensor unlock. It adds peace shield expiration time information to the existing astrometric scannability, as well as increases the Voyager's max cargo by 300%. Okay, that's, that's a nice trick. That's a really nice trick. You can scan a player, then you know where his base is, and at the same time you will know when his peace shield will go down. That is a nice one. But if you scan an active player, of course, he always has the chance to extend it. I will have to take a closer look at this one, but the max cargo is nice as well, but it will probably be uh, quite expensive as well. But there will also be new forbidden tech with Tarkas Isolytic Weapon. And here we come to the Gorn Hunters. Increased base isolytic damage versus Gorn Hunters. Increased bell, uh, base hull health for all ships. Increased isolytic defense versus all hostiles. And increased damage versus all hostiles. So you probably will be needing this to deal with the Gorn properly. So... Um, Unfortunately, I will have to make a decision here. I will, with what I can spend on the game because of my, my YouTube income, I cannot buy all three of those. And uh, with all the thanks I sent to, to certain uh, viewers for, for their support, it wasn't enough to do something like, uh, to do a stunt like this. So to try out, I will have to choose what I will try out for you. And in addition, there will be new artifacts. There will be the Kirshara we know from Enterprise, um, but I will go into those uh, later. S same with the with the new Prime um, researchers, which uh, will be introduced. Prime Bog Cube athletic damage. Do they want to make the the Bog Cube the new uh, Gorn Hunter? We will see. But there will be Primes, as I said, and. Uh, there's an, the battle pass, of course, is coming tonight as well. And uh, they made a lot of bug fixes, but I hope they will finally start to fix the one on the Enterprise NX01 versus the Aquatics, because the Aquatics super weapon has nine shots. The Enterprise NX01 is supposed to block nine shots from every weapon. So why is my NX01 always hit by this fracking super weapon? not always but a lot of times and it shouldn't be and they are working on that for ages now <sighs> i hope it really is they say they repaired it um no no it's just overlapping in the text they should uh, fix the issue on on uh, it shooting in the first place uh nevertheless we will see what happens but um to be honest looking at this what happened to quantity of uh, quality over quantity you see i already say it wrong because it's happening wrong they are introducing so much again this is once again sorry it's it's quantity over quality when i look at all this at the war room new enemies um tons of new um refits that in the end two of them um all three of them are nice but they are putting plus plus the the um the primes you you could use um it's so much it it will make the the gap between uh players that that can afford to spend a little money on this game or nothing and those that are paying loads of money will will make them even much bigger so that there's not so much fun and and of course the 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 possibility of 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 bugs we get tonight is is big again but people are grinding like hell everybody has to prioritize what they're doing anyway but after bringing in the zindi then bringing in the silent enemies now bring in gorn i don't think they are doing themselves a favor i will have a closer look in the next days as i said and see um if that how that works and everything and we'll, we'll show you in detail um, what happens when i will try to figure out uh, some good crews um, but i don't even know what level those will be but we know that tonight but the announcement which i wanted to bring you this afternoon before we even could see something of that is far too long for my taste to be honest 
And of course, as usual, I would like to know your view on that and, and what's going to happen. And um, before we've seen this, of course, but the list is so long. I'm really interested what you have to say about what, what they announce now. And uh, in, in as usual, if you have questions in general or video requests, you know, I regularly read the comments. And if you want to see another video right now about stuff we already know it's there, the next one is right in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.